بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين إن شاء الله today as always we'll be starting off with revision we'll be going over some of the letters we took and thereafter we'll be moving on to something new إن شاء الله we'll start going over the sounds how the letters sound the different sounds إن شاء الله so I'll start off with revision you guys uh, with the questions uh, you can take off your mics, inshallah. So let me start. I'll draw here on our little board, and uh, you guys can answer, inshallah. Brother Dawood, brother Dawood, this letter here. Ta. One dot. Ta. Oh. Write it for you again. Small container, one dot. Ba. Oh, wait a minute. On top. One, what, one dot on the top. Noon. Noon. Ahsant. Uh, brother Suhail. Alif. Muhsin. Alhamdulillah. Ahsant. Uh, Brother Dawood. Ba. Ahsant. Khaybar. Ghain. Ahsant. Brother Dawood. Alhamza al Mamduda. Ahsant. Brother Dawood. Wow. And Brother Dawood. Alhamza. Ahsant. Uh, Suhail. Alhamza. This one here. Seen. Ahsant. Uh, Muhsin. Sheen. Ahsant. Brother Khaybar. Sorry. I'll write for you again. Alhamza Mamduda. Ahsant. Brother Dawood. Beam. Ahsant. Brother Dawood. Ah, I'm sorry. What? One dot um, on the top. Noon. Ahsant. Let's come here to our lesson. See this yesterday. Okay. So I'll write here for you guys before that. So basically what we took at the very beginning, this was our first module, we took the letters, or we were identifying the letters. Sorry, I'm writing from right to left there. L let me put it on the side. So this was the first module. We were identifying the letters. Identify, right? And in that module, we basically took the letters in their original form. And we also took them in the other three forms that come. So basically we took in the original form, that was number one. 
Uh, and then we took number two, we took in uh, the different forms they come with. So we mentioned how they could uh, alif, ba, ta, etc. how they have different forms. And number three, we took uh, al-hamza, al-hamza al-mamduda, and al-alif al-maqsura, right? After completing this module, we'll still be doing revision with it. We move on to number two, module number two. Here we'll be looking at sounds, the sounds that uh, sounds the sounds that are made. How do we know uh, the different sounds? We've got what's called a haraka, or we've got a little sign on the top. So in English, as you know, that the vowels are five. You've got five vowel sounds. In Arabic, the sounds you've got mainly three, but we will say, for argument's sake, because we're going to take it, we'll say we've got four main categories. The first is a, the second is u, and the third is e. That's three. And the fourth one is where you're stopping and it's called a suku. Don't worry about all that. Here we'll start with number one. So number one is the equivalent of the sound in English, a. Uh. So you know when you're saying uh, an a, for example. A. Uh, a. Uh. In Arabic, you'll find that it's a little dash like this on top of the letter. Just one of them. So whenever you see this little sign or this little dash on top of a letter, it makes an a uh sound. You guys with me? Yes. Sure. Sure. So originally, we took we took the letters as they are. So without reading this, without reading this top part in red, we took them as alif, ba, ta, fa, etc. That is the names, or those are the names of these letters. Now, these letters, they come with what's called a haraka. So this is called a haraka, right? Haraka. All you've got to remember is when you see this little sign on the top, it makes an a uh sound. You open your mouth. So, for example, instead of alif here, because it's got, alif is the name of this letter. When it's got this haraka, the sound it's, it makes is a. Uh. The next one, ba. Uh. The next one, ba. Ba, because it's got this haraka. Ba, if you pull it ab about a second or a second and a half long, that's different. Here it's just ba. Ta, fa, ja, ha, kha. So what I'll do is I'll write them as we go along in English just to make it a little bit easier. And I'd like you guys to read after me. So, Brother Dawood, let's start. Ah. Ah. Ah, ahsant. Ah. And then, ba, ba, ba. Not ba, ba. ba. Just one A. One A. Ba. Ba. Short. Yes, yeah, so very short. The next one, ta. 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 So, the name of this letter is Ta, and the sound it makes when it got this Fatha, we call this a Fatha on the top, we call it Ta. The next one, Fa, Fa, Brother Dawood, Fa, 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 not Fa, 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 Fa. This later on when you guys learn tajweed, etc., then you'll know how long to pull it, uh, haraka, harakatain, etc. That will come later on. Uh, Brother Muhsin, uh, let's read, please. Or you can read this line. Uh, ba, ta, sa. Ahsant. Brother Khaybar. Ba, ba, ta, sa. Okay, so not tha, tha. Fa, fa. Uh, brother Suhail. A, ba, ta, ta. Okay, so look at, is there a difference when I say a, ba, ta, tha, and when I say a, ba, ta, 
Tha. Is there a difference or there's no difference? Yeah, the difference is there, Sheikh. The difference is I'm not pulling it. Yes, Why? Yeah, because later on there's something else that comes. There's another lesson we'll take and they'll tell you when to pull it. Here we're not pulling anything. This is just a, ba, ta, tha. Brother Dawood, please read the line. A, ba, ta, tha. Ahsan. So you guys know the names of all these uh, letters. Here your Q in this lesson is this uh, little dash here on the top. We call it a fatha in uh, the pink or the red color. So the next line here, ja, ja. The name of the letter is jim. The sound it makes here is ja, ja, ja. That's it. The next one, ha, 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 ha. What's the name of the letter? The name of the letter is ha. So can you notice how I'm pulling it a little bit longer? Here, this is ha, not pulling. This one is kha, 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 kha. And this one is da, 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 da. If you really wanted to be technical, you could say, just imagine if we go to English and we say this is the, the, the first sound or the original sound and then this is the vowel that comes after it. So if I had to put, for example, an I in English after this, it would go to B. And that's an, another lesson we'll take. So the name of the letter, you've got the first part, right? You've got the original sound. Is it B or T or F? And here you've got the haraka. Haraka means here fatha. A ba ta tha ja ha kha da. Brother Khaybar, read for us please from ja. Ja ha kha da. Ahsan, brother Mohsin. Ja ha kha da. Sent brother Suhail. Ja, ha, ha, da. Sent brother Dawood. Ja, ha, ha, da. Sent. Next one. The, the, the. It's almost like you're saying it in English. The. It's almost like you're saying it with an e here, but just put it and make it uniform. The. Ra. This one here. Ra. Za. Za. Sa. Sa. Brother Muhsin, Akra. Remember that? The, ro, the from a hey, from the accent. The, ro, the, sa. Accent. Khaybar, ra. The, ra, the, sa. Accent. Suhail, ra. The, ro, the, sa. Sa, sa, not the. Sa. Sa. S. Sin. Sa. 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 Ahsant. Uh, brother Dawood? Uh, first, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, with Ra, wouldn't you say Ra? Ra. 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 In, in the Arabic language, we've only got three vowel sounds. We don't have three main vowel sounds. We don't have five. In English, you've got uh, A. We used to say A, A, A. Or E. So if you've got elephant, example, E, yeah. we, we don't have that sound in Arabic. The, uh, the original sounds, we don't have it. One, two so places the, in the Quran, one, one place you might get it. But for now, you have the. Ra. Ra. Za. Sa. Yeah. 
and then also uh, basically in Arabic you've got three of them. You've got a, e, and u. That's yeah. it. A, uh, e, and e, u. u. English you've got another two more. Brother Dawood, please read the line again, please. Tha, ra, tha, tha. Okay, try try and open your mouth. So, is there a difference when you say za and za, za and za, za, ra, yeah. ra, za, za. Okay, again, the, say after the, me, the, 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 the. Okay, I want you to re record yourself when you're reading, inshallah. And see if there's a difference. The and the. 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 We want the. The. Okay. Ra. The. 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 Ra. The. The. Ahsant. Slowly we're getting there, mashallah. Next one. Sha. Sha. Sorry, in English we've written these two the same, but you guys will know the difference. Sa, ba, ba. This is not a D, but just to make it a bit clearer. Ba and ta, ta, ta. Okay, brother Khaybar, iqra. Sha, ba, ba, ba. Okay, again this one here. Sha. Ahsant, uh, brother Muhsin, qara. Sha, sha, do, da, ta, ta. Ahsant, this is ta. And this is ta. The English is just to make it easy for you guys, just so you remember. But uh, you, what, what you must, since you, you know the letter in Arabic, this the name of this letter is ta, ta. In the sound, ta. Suhail, you with us? Yeah, Sheikh. Hello, Iqra. Sha, ta, la, ta. Ahsan, Brother Dawood. Sha, Sa, Da, Da. Ahsan. The next one. Va, Va. So again, in English, we're spelling it similar to the previous one, but you guys know the difference. Va, A, A. So this is an A. We'll just leave it as an A, but you've got to put emphasis on it. A. Ra. Ra. And fa. 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 Ya Allah, iqra, ya Muhsin. Do, a, ra, fa. Ahsant, khaybar. Do, a, ra, fa. Ahsant, suhail. Do, a, ra, fa. Ahsant, brother Dawood. Do, a, ra, fa. 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 Ahsant. Second last line. This is Qa. 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 And this is Ka. 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 And this is La. Again, your Q is the little dash or the little uh, haraka, fatha on the top. Ma. ما ما يا خيبر اقرا ق ك ل 
ما احسنت براذر محسن كو ك ل ما احسنت سهيل قو ك ل ما احسنت براذر داوود قو ك ل ما اوكي سو وي نوت بولينج ات ذات ماتش لا 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 In French, ma. when they have la, yeah, and then here na, 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 ha. This is very gentle. Ha, 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 wa, 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 and this is ya. يا اقرأ يا محسن لا ها و يا احسنت خيبر لا ها و يا احسنت سهيل لا ها و يا احسنت براذا داود لا ها و يا Okay, so we're trying to open our mouth a little bit. Na, ha. Again. Na, ha, wa, ya. Ahsant. So I think this le lesson was easy for you guys, mashallah, because you've already got uh, the building blocks and you've got, you're able to identify the letters and then it's very close. If you look at it here, ba is very close to the actual name of the letter. However, when the sound changes, when we get to E and U, you'll see a bigger difference. Here, you haven't really seen much of a difference. Uh, Brother Dawood, maybe you could read for us from the beginning. A, ba, ta, ba, ja, ha, ka, da, ba, ra, za, sa, sha, Sa, da, sa, sa. This one here is, yeah. So if you look at this one because it's sad. One, one minute. This is sad, and this is seen. So when we've got a fatha on the top, we don't want to mix the two. If we say sa and sa, we can't differentiate. So this is sa, and this is sa. Sa, da, ta. And carry on from sha. Sha, sa. Okay. Again, from 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 sha, then sa, sha, sa, da, then ba ba. This is this is ba because we don't want to mix it with this one. This one here is dal da. This is ba ba. So sha, sa, da, ta. Ta, ta. Remember this. This one again. Ta. You've got a long ta. line, and you've got a thing. It's it's ta. it's a high letter. It's a large letter. We ta. want to open our mouth more. Ta. Yeah. As for ta. ta, if you look at ta here on the top, it's wide, uh, gentle. It's it's not tall. Here, this yes. one here is tall and big. So we need to open our mouth. Uh, like and ta. keep it at, as ta. ta. Ahsant. And this one ta. also, it's big and tall. Va. Ta. Ahsant. Anybody else wants to read? It's okay. It's okay, Sheikh. It's okay. You want to go to writing or you want to go to the next page? Brother Dawood, do you think this... Uh, Is okay? Did you were you able to grasp the lesson? Should we stop here? Then, inshallah, tomorrow, as you'll see, we'll be taking. Uh, now you're joining the words. So after you know the sound, for example, here is a. Uh, we've already taken ba, ta, etc. Now yeah. two words come. So inshallah, we'll take that tomorrow, two pages, and we'll also go over this today. That uh, tomorrow we'll go over this as revision, inshallah. So just to summarize. Basically, we said that 
in the first module, we uh, went over the actual letters, identifying them, the names of these letters. Now we're moving on to the sounds, and we mentioned that uh, there's four main sounds we'll be talking about. The first, as we've taken, is a. Uh, uh, we can call them the vowels, they're called harakat. And this is represented by a fatha. What is a fatha? A fatha is this little line or dash that you see on the top of the letter. The minute you see it on the top, a, uh, b, t, etc. Later on, uh, you'll see that this may move to the bottom. There may be a different shape. So for now, I want you uh, to remember but that it's a dash, its shape is a dash, and it sits on top of the letter. Those two conditions. It's a dash or a line, and it sits on top of the letter. So that's your fatha. So if somebody asks you the conditions of fatha, you say its shape, it's like a dash or a line, and it sits on top of the letter. And it makes an a uh sound. So a, uh, ba, ta, tha, ja, ha, etc. So that's a little recap of the lesson. Inshallah, we write uh, just one page as we did yesterday. It will take us uh, about five minutes, inshallah. This is good revision. You guys have your writing books with you? You guys with me? Can you hear you? Yeah. Yes, sir. yes. Okay. So, Brother Dawood, yesterday we had taken the first page, Alif and Ba, correct? Correct. Okay, now we're moving on to this page. So, you can read uh, the letter, and then uh, you, uh, here we've got Ta, and then the uh, letter in the whole word. And we move on, we write or we fill in what needs to be filled in. So, Bismillah, you can start. You've it's, got the page? It's Ta, Ra, Excellent. and Wow. I'm uh, sorry, Ya. Ya. Which one are you on? Uh, For me, I've one, only got da and wa. That's it. Oh, really? No, yeah. I'm on the yeah. wrong page? Page, page 19. 19. I have, I have different ones. Let's see. I can see you. Okay, you've you've got an extra you've got an extra uh, Hamza. Uh, you've got an extra. Uh, it's not a yeah because there's no dots on there. Yeah, I'll no problem. Yeah. So you can read what's in your book. No problem. So. Ta. Ra, uh, Al, forgot the name. Alif. Alif. Basically, brother, da brother, but da brother Dawood got just here at the end. So I'll put it in in my book. The name of this brother Suhail, with no ya. Which one? What's it called? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, that is okay ba i'm sorry ta ra al alif al maksura Excellent. again ta ra Al Alif Al Maksura. Al Maksura with a Qa. Maksura. Ascent. Next. Ta Ra Al Alif Al Maksura. Ascent. Next. Alif 
lamb. Sent. Two dots at the bottom. Ta. Two dots at the bottom. I'm sorry, I don't recognize it. Ali, lamb. Go go back in your in your uh, reading book, and go to the last letter in the previous module, the last uh, second last page. So if you can see mine, let me open mine. The one with the double. C can you see my book? Yes. Okay. Can you see this line? The two dots at the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So here, yeah. Okay. There's ya. Yeah. Ta. Ta. And then, ya. Meme. So they're basically trying to show you the difference. Is it ta? The one we interested in right now. The two dots on the top. We've also yes. got a similar shape, but the two dots at the bottom. That's ya. Yeah. So let's go again. Read the letters as you write them. Next. Alif, Lam, Ya, Ta, Ya, Mim. Ascent. Alif, Lam, Ta, no. Um, Alif, Lam. Alif, Alif, Lam. Yeah. Ya ta ya mean. Ascent. Alif lam ya ta ya mean. Ascent. Two dots at the bottom, ya. Two dots at the top, ta. Have you finished this column? Are you moving on to the next one? I'll try. Alif. Lam, ba, ya, ta. Ascent. Again. Next one. Alif, lam, ba, ya, ta. Ascent. Alif, lam, ba, ya. Ta. Ascent. Alif, Lam, Ba, Ya, Ta. Ascent. Have you finished Ta? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay, next one. Ba. Ascent. Okay. So I have Ba mean. Sent. Fa meme. Fa meme. Fa meme. Sent. So look at how your tha got three dots, but because its shape is different, so we're not saying a sheen. A sheen has the teeth. Yes. Next, yeah. Colin. Okay. I have meme. Fa, me, fa, two on top. Two on the top, Qaf. but the shape is it's got a head. Yeah. Cough. Ascent almost looks like a Q. Cough and then. Cough, alif, lamb. Ascent. Me, ta. Fa, 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 alif, lam. Again, mim, fa, fa, kaf, alif, lam. Ahsan. Mim, fa, kaf, alif, lam. Ahsan, have you finished the column? Next one. Okay, the next one, yes. Half. No, this one got two dots on the top. 
to the third. Cough. Uh, two dots on the top, but it's got no head. You haven't really taken this one so far. You've taken it, but when it's written with a ha, basically this is a ta at the top. It's got no head. This is how it will come. Ta, and then they want to join it to the ha. This See, is a ta two dots joined to a ha. Yeah. Ha. Yeah. Ta, ha. ha, dal, and tha. Can you see the ha? I'm looking right now. Yes, I see it. So it's a form of writing, a way of writing it. Okay, so you can read yes. for us. Ha. Ra. Do wait. Uh, stop. Ta. Ha. Dal. Tha. Tha. Ha. Tha. Da. Tha. Do you, do, you, do you have the same words like us or not? Let's see oh, your no, words. Let me look. Yeah, yeah, those are the same. Yeah. Okay, so uh, repeat I'm after me. I'm just confused by that first one still. Okay, the first one is ta. Originally, they should have written it uh, like this. Ta. And then ha. But they kind of combined it. Yes. So even when you're reading in uh, some of the Qurans, you'll find like so originally it's like that. Yeah. Right? Now, in order to make it uh, to join the word, it looks better. It may be a form of calligraphy. They did like this. And they joined the ha like that. Okay. You see? So for now, so it's uh, ta ha ta ha, ha dal da dal tha. Ahsant. Again. Ta ha dal tha. Ahsant. Ta ha dal tha. Ahsant. Last one for today. Jean, oh, Alif. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Have you have you finished the the last one oh. in this column here? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. Inshallah, we leave Jim for tomorrow because okay. it's Jim Ha and Ha, quite close and quite uh, similar. So I, I think the the writing is uh, is good for revision, and it helps us go over. And uh, yeah. It also helps with regards to the writing, identifying the letters in their different positions. It helps with reading. Yeah. Any questions? No, Sheik. No questions, suggestions, anything? I just I just have one. It's like the what I'm reading is like you said, the base form. When I look at Dhamma Kasafata, then I'll know to do the ta to t the pronunciation of yes, the sound. Inshallah, would you? Yeah. So this is good for identification. And then when we get yes. to, as we move on with the halakha, haraka, we'll do the for sound. That so wait, wait, for that haraka? Wait, Brother okay, Sahil wants to. Brother okay, Dawood, okay. yeah? So, yeah, what I'm saying is we're just repeating the bass sound of the yeah. letter. But as we move on to the haraka, We'll learn the vowel sound, the actual sound of the words combined. Yes, the words combined. So, Inshallah, the lesson yeah. for tomorrow, we've yeah. got all the fatha combined. Aha, uh, akhada. Uh, these will, will, will be the first uh, words, Inshallah, you guys will be Inshallah. reading okay. for the haraka. Inshallah. Okay. Yes, uh, Brother Suhail, question in the lesson? No, sir, not a question. For that haraka, you said now one haraka. In India, they say for that uh, zabar. Yes, everyone has their own different that... way. For now, we say fatha. Uh huh. Okay, Sheikh. Tama, we are saying fatha. Okay. Okay, Sheikh. Taib, Taib, Sheikh. Tama. Muhsin, Khaybar, anything? No, Sheikh. 
خيبة بارك الله فيكم إن شاء الله uh, we see you guys tomorrow بإذن الله uh, new word شيف I gave you a new word uh, during the lesson what? you know what was the new word which one شيف but there was no new word تمام what's that تمام حركة وفتحة okay uh, I'll say uh, Nabda. Nabda means let's begin. We begin. Nabda. 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 So from the next lesson, Nabda means we begin. We begin. So the okay, next lesson, when I start, I'll say, Tayyib Nabda. Addars. Addars is the lesson. Addars. Ad-dars. Nabda. Tamam. And Addars. Means the lesson. Tamam means chef. Tamam is like tayyib. Okay, good. Uh, okay, it depends chef. on uh, the sentence. <laughs> before we go, give you a fight. I was reading just before uh, we came. Uh, we were reading in Surah Al An'am, and uh, there's many verses in the Quran. It's either one of the Sahaba or one of the Tabi'een, a person who lived in the previous generations. He says that when I remember a few verses in the Quran, then I'm not too bothered in the way I face the morning, I face the evening, basically when I wake up or in the evening. And then he mentions those verses. One of them being, Allah says, وَإِنْ يَمْسِسْكَ اللَّهُ Allah says, مَا يَفْتَحِ اللَّهُ لِلنَّاسِ مِنْ رَحْمَةِ فَلَا مُمْسِكَ لَهَا Whatever mercy... Allah opens for you, then nobody can withhold and prevent that mercy from you. ما يفتح الله للناس من رحمة فلا ممسك لها وما يمسك فلا مرسل له من بعد And whatever Allah withholds from you, nobody can give you. Uh, in another verse, Allah says, similar meaning, uh, is if he had to touch you with harm, nobody can remove it. وَإِنْ يَمْسَسْكَ اللَّهُ بِضُرٍ فَلَا كَاشِفَ لَهُ إِلَّا هُ if some harm had to afflict you, nobody can remove it except Allah. And in the same breath, وَإِنْ يَمْسَسْكَ بِخَيْرٍ فَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ Basically, if Allah gives you goodness, then He is able to do all things. And nobody can remove this goodness from you. The summary of it all is always be attached to Allah. Remember that whatever happens in your life, you know, may Allah protect us but some calamity befalls you or some goodness comes your way. The goodness was not due to that person who it may have come through them or because you were too intelligent, you may have got good grades or a good job or you may have sought. It's from Allah. And whatever calamity uh, comes your way, remember that nobody can remove it except Allah. So don't be attached to people, what's in people's hands. You need something, always ask Allah, be attached to Allah and as we mentioned before that a believer he's always patient or he's grateful so basically our summary is always be attached to Allah inshallah we see Shaykh, you guys which surah, which surah is that yeah which surah is that there's one in uh, uh, surah al-an'am it's this verse. There's a, there's a few uh, similar verses. One of them, wa in yamsaska Allahu bi dhurrin, fala kashif lahu illa hu. Is Surah Al An'am. Al An'am. Inshallah, remind me on WhatsApp. I'll send you the verse number. Okay. And then there's one in Surah Fatir, where Allah says, "Ma yaftahi Allahu lil nasi min rahma, fala mumsik laha." Basically, whatever mercy and goodness Allah opens for you, nobody can withhold. And whatever He withholds, وَمَا يُمْسِكْ فَلَا مُرْسِلَ لَهُ مِنْ بَعْدِ Nobody besides Him can give you. And then He ends off the verse by saying uh, that He is Aziz and Hakim. Also, uh, inshallah, we might speak on this another day. Is when you look at what Allah mentions in the Quran, then you look at how He describes Himself at the end of the verse, either mentioning His names or His attributes, and that's a whole nother chapter. Inshallah, uh, we'll touch on it uh, in a later lesson. Okay, thank you.
Anything else? We'll meet tomorrow, inshallah. Taib Shaykh. Yalla. Fi amanillah. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.